the International Space Station flying down over the northern ice pack region a couple of hours ago. Welcome to another update from the Force 13 on Tropical Storm Jebby. And the system uh, continues to intensify. Here's the latest from the National Weather Service over in Graham. Typhoon watch remains in effect for Agrahan, Pagan, Anamagan, and a typhoon watch means destructive winds of 75 miles per hour or more. This is the life of the tropical storm and is located 17 decimal 1 degrees north. 153.7 degrees east, about 515 miles east of Anamakan, 525 east of Pagan, 540 miles east south east of Agrahan, 545 east northeast of Saipan, and 600 miles east northeast of Rota. 645 miles east northeast of Rome. Maximum sustained wind 60 miles per hour, tracking west northwest at 13 miles per hour. Now, here's a look at a couple of charts from the NWS. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 60 miles per hour and tropical storm Jebby as mentioned is forecast to intensify through tonight possibly becoming a typhoon. Now here's a look at the uh, NOAA floaters, you can definitely see from the rainbow imagery that the cloud tops are coolly. You can notice a fair bit of the uh, right and we'll have a look at the four-way apology. The NOAA floaters are having technical issues again. Now here's a uh, model and you can clearly see that this uh, system is going to reach typhoon status. The environment remains conducive with warm sea surface temperatures 29 30 Celsius, low vertical wind shear 10 to 15 knots, and a steady outflow. The cyclone is tracking along the southern periphery of an east west oriented steering wind to the north. Now, here's a look at the wind shear. Upper level divergence is very healthy, it's around 40 to 50 knots. The shear tendency, you clearly see where Jebby is located. Another look at the 850 minute bar vorticity, which is one of my uh, favourite items and this is the uh, position from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center there's only one on the radar
Joy Typhoon Warning Center is supportive of a climatological rate of intensification. Now here's a look at a couple of the models and in between these two is the current track chart from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And as mentioned, Tropical Storm JB continues to intensify and could it become a super typhoon? That remains to be seen. The central pressure, as I mentioned in my earlier update, was around 9 12 millibars. And late cycle intensity guidance. And the models are starting to change. A couple of indicating a high range Cat 3 or even a mid range Cat 4. Now we look at the total precipitation. The rainfall scale is on the right hand side of the screen and I look for the area in yellow. Tropical tidbits, one or two tracks. The Joy Typhoon warning said that we had information on intensifications indicating the uh, system should reach at least 120 knots within 120 hours. And here's a look at the satellite imagery for the region. You can follow Force 13's outlets to website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.